Welcome. In this video, we're going to do a solo playthrough of Under Falling Skies, published by Czech Games Edition. So down at the table, we have all the contents. I just have what's set up as the base game. All the campaign stuff is in the box, so as you can see, you just need the base game on top and a whole lot of secret stuff on the bottom. So no spoilers here, just the basics of how to play the game. So in this game, aliens are coming from the sky trying to destroy our world, and I'm going to be defending Roswell, trying to do some research and defend our planet from these aliens. Our goal is going to be able to get our research token from the bottom all the way up to the top before either the mothership gets down here to that skull or we take enough damage to get down to here. And we're going to do that by rolling dice. In the base game, we won't need the blue one. These are robots for other scenarios. So we'll be rolling these dice, placing them in columns, which is going to give us powers, but it also moves ships down. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at our main board. So we have several locations to defend. We've got New York, Washington, D.C., and Roswell. And on this sheet, it's going to tell us how our base is going to be constructed. So we've got an A and a B showing there. We'll grab our location, so we've got an A pointing up versus A going down, and the B, so that forms our base. You see the other locations, they're dual-sided. These do have some special abilities, but it shows you how to uh, put your base together. Starting energy is going to go on a circle there and zero damage on this side. And our research starts in this area. So we are not done constructing our base at the moment, so we've got an excavator. So that shows where that starts. So we've got different colored rooms here. The room's at the top. Basically when we put a die there, it's going to lower that value by one, which means the shift coming down, move one space less. Our red spaces, are gonna blow up areas that have these symbols in them. And depending on the number we have there, so that is spinning in energy, minus one, so that's creating our space as five. So any of these areas with a value of five or less are gonna blow up if there's an enemy ship in those spaces. Green tracks, showing us we need to spend two energy to use that. Whatever number we have here is what we can go up on our research track, and that's not six spaces it will be six points of research. So we could go up one, two, three here, and then four, but we need seven to go up any further, so it would stop there. So whatever number we have on this is how much research we do and we can move up on that chart. Then the yellow spaces are going to give us more energy. So we've got the single areas, take one die, kind of makes sense, areas that take two dice, it requires both dice in those areas to use. So just having one dice in there will not trigger that effect. And of course, we can only play dice behind our excavator, so we need to move this. So one of our dice of the five we place in the round can be placed ahead of that. So as long as, so one, two, three, four, and five, we could place this here. When we activate, we need to spend an energy as shown on our excavator. Then it move further down and open us up two additional rooms. So when it comes to placing dice, we've got five dice in five columns. So we can place these dice like this. So we can never place more than one dice in a single column. And another caveat is after we place a white dice, all other dice that we haven't used will get rolled. So if we rolled our dice, ended up with that. If we played our four there, we have to roll all of our dice again. Then we could play our one, three. Say so we played our four again, we'd re-roll that dice like so. And of course, every time we place a dice, we're moving ships further down those columns associated with those dice. And whenever a ship hits our location, coming off that chart, we're gonna take some damage. So now looking at the ships coming after to evade us, 
Whenever we play dice down on their column, that's how many spaces these ships will move down. And they are gonna have some abilities that might trigger. These only trigger, so say we played a dice with a value of two down in this column, it would move two spaces. Uh, the symbols that goes over does not matter. It only matters what it lands on. So if we would have played a four, one, two, three, four, that symbol means it changes column. That symbol means it goes that direction. That symbol means that the mothership advances, which is typically not good. And then that symbol means if we go to the right space in our base, we have the potential of blowing this one up. And these symbols on the side, during the mothership phase, the ship is gonna move down and pick up any ships that gets in its way and trigger these abilities on the side. So like that symbol is gonna bring out a white ship for later. This symbol, our excavator goes back two spaces. And then a symbol like this, we go back on our research track. So like I said, with the main goal, we're trying to get a research up here before these things get too far, damage us too much, or the mothership lands on us. And enough with the explanation, let's go ahead and get ready to play. So just for space, I've moved our base from below Roswell over to here. So these five columns still correlate to these five columns on that area. So we'll get started with the dice phase. and see what we have to work with. So I wanna go ahead and move this as far as I can, but I don't want that six there. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, move some other ship so we can put it in any space equal to or less the die from our excavator. So it moves it there. I wanna build up some energy rather quick, so we'll put a five there. One, two, three, four, five. White die has its re-roll. Put a five there. A three there, so one, two, three. Gets us a re-roll. And we'll place it there. So one, two, and moves over. So the rooms phase, we activate these in any order. We go ahead and spin two energy. So we've got three for here, so it goes up to the first spot. Then 10 minus three do to that, so we're going up to seven. That doesn't do anything. We'll spin an energy to move to that location. So the mothership phase, it's gonna move down, activating that ability, which adds a white ship, and then it's gonna spawn in this location because that column is open. So back to our second turn. All right, moving our excavator along. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. We'll place a one here. Four there. One, two, three, four. Two. Re roll. Getting a four. One, two, three, four. So activating, we'll spin an energy. We'll gain an energy. We'll spin two, We've got a total of eight. So that's in a four spot, that's in a three, that's in a two. And that needs another die to do anything. Mother shit activates. Excavator moves back two spaces. And these will spawn in those areas, empty columns. All right. I'm gonna go 
five. One, two, three, four, five. One. And re-rolling. To three there. So everything's moving down two in that column. One, two, three, four, five. And the one there, we're gonna spend an energy. Not do anything with that one. Spend two energy, dealing six damage. Mothership is going to add a white ship and they come back in like so. And our next round, we really need to start doing some research. Oh, we need some energy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Put a six down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and it can't move over. Six there. Has this re-roll. And place that there. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll spend an energy. It's a negative one modifier, so that's doing four damage. This will get us six energy. We'll spin an energy to move. Spin two energy for 12 on our track here. So one, four, five, nine, ten. Ship comes down, no ability. Comes in in that track. And next round. So we're going to put a Five there. One, two, three, four, five. Three there. One, two, three. Four there. One, two, three, four. Re rolling. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Re roll. One, two, three. Nope, oh, I forgot to move that guy. One, two, three. So there's all the movement. Spend two energy. We're going to be doing six damage everywhere. This is going to get us five energy back. Spend two energy. So we've got six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'm not doing anything there because we need a six. So mothership gets a white ship. Spread those out. And our next round. Not too thrilled with all those dice rolls, so we'll put a two here. And re-roll. Not happy with those at all either. Place that there. So 
go with a five over here. One, two, three, four, five. And a five there. One, two, three, four, five. Moves over and our three. Put there. One energy. Nope. Spending two energy for 10. So six, seven, and 10. Not going to do anything with that. And that's going to get us three energy back. Mothership moves, picks up one. Our excavator goes back a space. Another round. We'll go there. No ships in that spot. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six. We want to do that. How we're we feeling about the others? One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't want five or six in that column. Four, five, six. Guess I'm good with a six in that column. Put it up there. I think. Put the five in that one. One, two, three, four, five. Then we've got a roll. And didn't want that. One, two, one, two. Or maybe we did. It's going to blow up more ships that way. So we're spinning two for six damage. Spin one to move over. Spin two for six. And we don't have the energy left. Mothership moves down. We go down one on that track. These are going to fill out in those spaces. And we're going to quest for some energy. So we're going to start here with that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can't move over. Do we want that in that spot? Might be able to end the game. We'll put it down here instead. Then we'll put that six in this spot. Which means we re-roll. We need 14. No, 15. One, two, three, four. Does a damage. Place one up here so there's zero movement. Reroll. And we go get some energy. One, two, three. So three energy. Spinning two. Gets a 16 movement. So one, four, and that takes us up to 15. And that's the research we need to defend Roswell from the falling skies. So that's the basics of gameplay in this. So to up the difficulty, you can flip these over. So the numbers on this side are gonna go up, make it more difficult to do your research. And the numbers on the combat mean you need to do better down here. And things over here are going to get worse. 
Also, our locations have special abilities, so Roswell on the other side. When Roswell takes its first point of damage, advance one space on the research track. Then for DC, on the first roll of each round, set one of the white dice to a six instead of rolling it. On the back side, immediately after the first roll of each round, you may set one of your worker dice to six. And for New York, you can have only one robot, but the value of its room is raised by two. So normally you can have two robots. They come out with these blue rooms, which were not on this. So basically when you roll a die and put it on one of these locations, uh, you get a robot, which is gonna be this. So if we put a four on there, that turns into a three robot. We can put that anywhere on the track. We'll put it diagonally. So the first round is not gonna do anything. It's just gonna move. And on rounds after that, it's gonna count as a three, but then spin down and count as a two. So it's gonna give you a worker basically in an area for multiple rounds. And on the back side, a room's value is raised by one for each robot in it. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. If so, please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.